Sherwood Forest was not Robin Hood's original forest. Oh no, Robin Hood was in Barnsdale Forest long before he was ever in Sherwood. Yes, the first Robin Hood stories come to us in the form of ballads. And the original ballads tell of the exploits of yours truly, Robin Hood, the rebel yeoman outlaw operating in the Barnsdale Forest area of Yorkshire. But Robin, I hear you ask, where the flipping heck is Barnsdale? Well, I tell you what, come with me, I'll show you. Here we are, Barnsdale Forest. Historically, Barnsdale lay within the West Riding of Yorkshire, an expansive thick woodland covering most of the south of Yorkshire and reaching up across into the west towards Wakefield. Poachers. I'm that you bastard. My venison. Connected to Sherwood Forest by the Great North Road, Barnsdale was teeming with life. Full of deer and various other game animals, it was a popular location for royal hunts, some of which were led by myself when I worked as a forester. You see, in medieval England, the word forest had a different meaning to what it has in modern day England. Forest was actually a legal term for an area reserved specifically for the king's enjoyment. Forests were protected areas outside the public domain. There didn't even have to be any trees in the area for it to be made a forest. And once it was made a forest, it was forbidden to be encroached upon in any way by royal decree. This process was known as a forestation. Now eventually Barnsdale Forest would lose its status as a royal hunting forest and in the years to follow it would fall victim to mass deforestation forcing Yeladia and his merry men to head down the Great North Road to a new spot in Sherwood Forest. All that remains of Barnsdale Forest in modern day England is a handful of small woodland areas in places like Skelbrook, Hampole, South Kirby and near the side of the A1 at Barnsdale Bar. It's a damn shame, I tell thee. But now you know the story of the forgotten forest of Barnsdale.